hi everyone welcome to our channel so in this video we are going to implement angular 16 crud sample okay so this is the first video of this series in this video we are going to create the angular 16 project and also we are going to set up a backend server that is json server which is a fake json server okay to create angular project first our machine contains angular cli okay here is the command for installing the angular cli okay npm install iphone g means globally install at the rate angular cli you already installed angular cli and if you want to update the angular please reinstall this command again just open the command prompt and paste this command and enter okay so latest cli gets installed okay now i am going to create a angular project okay so command for creating angular project is ng space new and name of your project i will name it like angular 16 crud okay here it is asking for routing say s by entering y and here it is asking us to choose a CSS styles type. Okay, you want CSS, SAS, or SCSS or less. I will use SCSS. Okay, so it's going to create an Angular project by installing the all required packages. Okay, project created successfully. Let's open the terminal inside of the project. Okay, and enter space command like code space dot it will open visual studio code so visual studio is the code is the editor we are going to use for our development okay so here is our angular project okay let's explore the default files inside of it first go to package.json file okay so here you can see the version of the angular okay you can see all the angular related version is 16.0 okay so the package.json contains uh, reference to the libraries and uh, dependent libraries and also some commands like how to run the project or build the project or test the project okay so package is like a configuration file okay and here you can see ps config.json these related to typescript okay and here you can see angular.json so here also there will be a uh, build and uh, workflow angular configurations okay and if you go to src main.ts it is the entry file of our angular application okay and here you can see index.html angular is a single page application right so this is the single page we will have in our project index.html so it will contain the element like app.pro okay so under this element all the content gets rendered by the angular application okay this is the root element so that is about the index.html and assets folder will keep static files like images or something like that okay and here is the app folder so if you observe you can see files like app component.css app component.html and app component.ts right so these three combinedly we can call it as a one angular component okay so ts file where we will write our javascript or the typescript code okay html is the html contents where we write and css is the css file for the component okay these three combinedly makes an angular component okay and here you can see app module app module like is like a uh, entry module okay so here we will configure all our components routing something like that okay and we will have one more component that is like app routing module okay this is the root app routing module okay and you can see the folder like node modules okay so this folder contains all the dependent libraries that are helped to develop our angular application okay that is the brief overview on the project okay so for this angular application 
you can use any kind of tilings like bootstrap or tailwind and material okay so in this video i am going to use the angular material okay before installing angular material let's run our application okay so to run our application command you can see ng serve is the command okay this is the npm start if you enter npm start open the terminal and you, if you run npm run start it will it going to run this command ng serve is there right so that will npm start run means i am invoking this command so it's going to uh, run our application on a local host port number like 4200 okay let's try to access it okay this is the default html content that we will get once we run our application okay so go to material.angular.io which is the official website for angular material click on get started okay and here is the command to install the angular material okay copy this command okay open one more terminal and run that command okay would you like to proceed to install yes and it is asking the theme okay theme is nothing but color styling of the application okay indigo pink deep purple pink color gray and purple green all these things it will provide by default three custom styles okay so if you want to see how this theme look like you can directly uh, change here in the official website also this themes is available okay if i click on deep purple like this you will see if you click on indigo pink like this okay if you click on pink and blue gray like this okay so for this demo what i will do i am going to choose the third one pink blue gray okay and it is asking for global angular typography click like yes and animations include okay that's it angular is installed into our application okay now what i will do i want to this kind of angular in the angular website we have a menu bar right same i want to have it here okay for that go to components uh in the components go to toolbar okay so here is the toolbar okay so i want this kind of toolbar so for that let me copy this mat toolbar okay component html okay and what i will do we have a single component right currently what is that component app component so this is the html we are getting defaultly so let's remove this existing content okay okay up to above the route outlet i will remove and add the mat toolbar here so if you observe the route outlet this is the default angular component okay so inside of this component the routing content will be rendered okay and we added mat toolbar right now let's uh, rerun the application okay so not rerun i am using here we are seeing some errors right that is because i am using mat toolbar but i haven't imported the mat toolbar component okay for that uh, if you scroll up you can see the api tab here it will provide the import okay copy this import line okay so all this angular material imports we have to add in our app module okay so add that import here and inside of the imports array add that import okay see now those errors are gone okay now let's check the output Okay, nothing is visible content is coming but styling is not applied because i need to stop the application and i need to rerun again because uh, before installing the angular material i have 
ran my application, right? That is the reason. So let me stop the application and rerun again. Okay, let's check. Now see, I am getting some black color, right? So to get the primary color, okay. Here, if you go to the sample, to get the primary color, we have to add a color attribute and its value equal to primary, okay? And copy that and go to our app component.html and add it here. Okay, now let's check. See, now I am able to see the material menu toolbar, okay? Now let's set up the server backend. So for this demo, I am going to use the fake JSON server. Okay. Okay, go to JSON server. Okay. Backend endpoint. No need to write code for us. We'll set up a fake server for us. Okay. So first thing is you have to install this command globally to install install the json server in your local system okay so open the terminal and just anywhere open the command prompt and enter this command and install okay after that to run the json server this is the command to start the json server okay so copy this command so for my demo what i will do i will set up the json server within my angular application Go to package.json file. Here I am going to create a command. Okay. I will name it like JSON run. That's, that is my command name. And here I am going to paste that uh, JSON server running actual command. Okay. Now I can start the JSON server by entering command like npm space run space JSON iPhone run. Okay. Save this open terminal open one more terminal okay because angular and json server should be run parallelly okay here npm run and the command i have given json iphone run run it okay here if you observe it's printed some few endpoints okay so if i try to open this see post endpoint some JSON data. If I try to open one more endpoint. See comments endpoint. See now I am able to see a fake server side API. Okay, but by default it is giving endpoints like post and comments and profile. But we can override these endpoints. To override these endpoints, go to db.json file. So this is the file just got created on running the JSON server. Okay. So if I scroll and if I check logs here, you can see. Oops. DB JSON doesn't seem to exist. Creating a DB dot JSON. Okay. Whenever you run first time this command, if in that folder DB dot JSON file is not exist, it will create. Okay. So what does the db.json means? It is like a storage for our JSON server. Okay. If you, you observe the endpoints like post, comment, and profile, right? All those endpoints got created based on the root properties here. Okay. If you change the root property here, endpoint name also change. Okay. So for this demo. I want to create a JSON data like superheroes. Okay. So I have already prepared some JSON data. Let me add the data into db.json. Okay. This is my JSON file. Simple data. Superheroes. Now, if you check, our endpoint will be this one. Let me show you the logs. I think it will create once you save it. Super heroes endpoint is created. If I navigate, see, I am getting the API response. Okay. So now what we did, we have created Angular 16 application, installed Angular material, 
and also added the angular material toolbar component and we have set up a fake json server like superhero so next we are going to implement the read operation that means we are going to invoke this api from our angular application and we are going to bind this data into our ui okay thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the video please do support me by subscribing to the channel and also please don't forget to like and share the video soon we are going to meet with new content until then signing off